here at Eurospine 2017 in Dublin and it's my pleasure to introduce the winners of the full paper award of this year, Dr. Anne Mannion and Dr. Thomas Fekete from the Schultes Clinic. And congratulations and Thomas to this award. Um, can you tell our viewers what the research is all about? Indeed, thank you first of all for uh, awarding us the full paper award. We carried out a large study to compare the patient reported outcomes in our spine patients undergoing surgery for the most common types of degenerative spine disorder, um, compared with patients undergoing total joint arthroplasty for, uh, for OA and um, we used a questionnaire that we developed originally in back pain patients but that was later developed also for hip and knee patients um, with the aim of comparing their outcomes um, in a large, large group of patients. We'd suspected that the spine patients weren't doing as well as the hip and knees, um, and this was the motivation for doing the study, because previous studies in this field have only used very general quality of life questionnaires, which aren't really that sensitive to detect the changes in relation to specific types of surgery. They're not as responsive. So we used our patient reported outcome measure and um, we found that actually, unfortunately, the spine outcomes were considerably inferior to those of the hip and knee patients. And quite interestingly, the extent of the difference between them depended on the way in which we actually measured the success of surgery. So if we looked at, for example, satisfaction, then there weren't such great differences between them. But if we looked at a more stringent measure of um, effectively how, how the patients considered the symptom state to be, whether it was acceptable or not, then we found huge differences between the groups. Thomas, how, are, how is this finding relevant from a surgical perspective? I think it was, uh, first we, we looked at our data always in relation to other spine centers and other uh, spine surgeons and uh, we then said okay we are doing the same, we have having the same result as the others. But now as we, as we saw that uh, in comparison to, to other orthopedic uh, surgeries, spines and patients do worse, it was really, really sad to see. Uh, but actually I understand now my uh, young colleagues who, who are doing orthopedic surgery and doesn't want to become a spine surgeon. I understand now, spine surgery is, uh, surgery is not that rewarding. But it's uh, also very good because it motivates us to, to improve, improve the care of our patients. And uh, I hope it's, uh, it helps us uh, in terms of funding in the future. And uh, that's it. Yeah, well, it is disappointing to see it is very re relevant research. Now, and how does, what, what does the future outlook look like? What, what are you planning next? Okay, I think for the first thing we want to do is have a look at the cervical spine patients and see how they fare in relation to all the other groups. Um, and then what we'd like to try and do is develop and evaluate um, things like appropriate use criteria. We've also seen a lot of developments in that area so that we can actually try to better select patients for surgery and see if we can improve the overall outcomes. We're also doing a lot of studies looking at trying to predict, so once someone has an indication for surgery, are there individual factors that will predict how well that, those patients will do? And again, that will then help us to feed back to the patients and set their expectations of surgery perhaps more accurately um, and use it in patient educational programs in this way. And how does the now winning the full paper award of Eurospine help you in achieving those goals? Well, first of all, I think it's, um, it's a great sort of accolade for our research team and uh, who've spent a lot of time and effort documenting all our outcomes for close to 12 years now, certainly for the spine unit. Also for our hospital, for the Schultes Clinic, that's seen fit to invest a lot in this kind of outcomes research. So that's great for them and will hopefully motivate them to carry on with this work. We also hope that other centres will see that it is possible to set up um, systematic uh, documentation within a hospital as big as one like ours, um, that it's something that everyone should strive to do. So we have bigger studies like this and we can do multi-centre studies of this nature. Um, that's another benefit. And I think we will hopefully use the data, as kind of disappointing as it is, to try and lobby for further financial support from governmental agencies, from industry, from grant-giving bodies, such that we can try and effectively direct more research funding into the area of spine and hopefully work on trying to clarify indications and overall improve the outcomes of the patients. This would be our, our wish. Sounds very exciting. We look forward to further excellent research from your institution and I congratulate you again to winning this award. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.